What is a food chain? In this video, you will get the answer of this question. But before coming to this point, we need to know few terms like what do you mean by producer and who are the consumers. So let us start the video. All living things need energy to live. They get this energy from the food they eat. All living things depend directly or indirectly on each other for their survival. Plants are called producers. The plants make their food with the help of air, water, sunlight and minerals from the soil. This process is called photosynthesis. Consumers are the animal species. They cannot make their own food. So, they depend on plants and other animals for their food. In consumer category comes plant-eating animals called herbivores. Animals that eat other animals called carnivores. And the animals that eat both plants and animals called omnivores. Now we'll come to this point. What is a food chain? The plants are eaten by herbivores and then these herbivores are eaten by the carnivores. This way a chain is formed in the nature that shows who is eating whom. This chain is called food chain. All food chain starts from plants and ends with the animals. Now let us understand this food chain with the help of picture. Grass Grass is the producer which is eaten by deer that is primary consumer and the deer is finally eaten by loin that is secondary consumer. This is a small food chain. Now we will see Another food chain. Grass, which is eaten by grasshopper. Here grass is the producer and grasshopper is the primary consumer. This grasshopper is eaten by frog. That is the secondary consumer. And this frog is eaten by the snake, that is tertiary consumer. And this snake is eaten by the eagle. A food chain shows that all animals depend on plants directly or indirectly. When the eagle dies and decays, its body decomposes. The decomposers like bacteria and fungi breaks down the dead bodies and it gets mixed in the soil. The dead bodies of all plants and animals mix in the soil thus making it fertile. This way the grass and all the other plants grow well with the nutrition they derive from the soil. Recap all living things are directly or indirectly dependent on each other. The food chain starts from the producers, that is plants, and then eaten by the primary consumers, which are then eaten by secondary consumers, and so on. At the end, the dead body decomposes and mixes with the soil, making it fertile, which are again used by the plants as nutrients. This way, all are dependent on each other in one or the other way. I hope the concept of food chain is now clear to you. Thank you for learning with us. For more educational videos, keep watching Kids Study Zone.